going on, guys? Uh, it's time for us to go a little bit more old school here and set up an Atari 7800 emulator with Emulation Station. This is actually really simple and really easy, so we'll uh, we'll go through it pretty quick here. But this should open your library up to some uh, games that are a whole lot older than maybe some of the other emulation uh, stuff we've been doing in the past. So um, I've kind of skipped a couple of steps and gone ahead. Um, it's pretty easy here. Just go to um, your emulation station folder, uh, C users droid emulation station, and then make sure you have your ROMs folder and your systems folder. Um, once again, of course, the naming convention can be different, um, but make sure that it reflects that in your systems config file. Um, so go ahead and make your systems and you're going to want to download a uh, pro system. This is uh, the best emulator I found that works very well with Emulation Station. Uh, this is specifically for the Atari 7800. I know there are other Atari versions. This one I think only does a 7800. So um, I'll put the link in the description down below of where I found mine. Uh, it's on coolroms.com. has a pretty good site full of uh, different emulators and ROMs and stuff like that. So feel free to go in there and um, grab that or just do a search for it on Google. It's your best friend. You'll find it pretty quickly. It's not really difficult at all to find. Um, so we'll open it up and we're just going to drag and drop the system into the systems folder. Um, and once that's done, that's pretty much all the installation you have to do for it. Uh, we'll close out our zip folder and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rename it to just lowercase pro system and then enter. I don't want any of the underscores or anything like that just in case that kind of gives uh, a little bit more problems or issues with um, the config file and how it reads it. Uh, the simpler, always the better. So, um, and then you open it up and we have our pro system.exe and I actually have it already set up in our config file. And just in case you forgot where the config file is, it's essystems.cfg for config. You open it up, this is it in here. Um, so go ahead and uh, pause the video for a minute, write all this down, make sure the naming convention matches, especially for the name and the full name. These have to be um, specific and accurate just like this, so that way Emulation Station knows the system you're actually putting in. Um, I'm going to be making a path for mine. It's going to be ROMs Atari 7800. In fact, I can copy that right now and have it ready in my clipboard. Um, these are the typical 7800 um, extensions. However, I like to have mine zipped and Pro System does play them zipped. So you can save even more room, even though Atari games, the ROMs are super small. Um, and then finally, your path, which um, here's my path here which matches exactly where we put it in here. Just always make sure this path here matches this path here, you know. So um, then platform and theme have to be exactly this way in order for Emulation Station to read it correctly. Once that's done, you save it. And then we'll jump back over and put a ramen. <laughs> ramen, <laughs> like ramen noodles. Uh, here's our rums. And then my game that I'm going to be bringing for show and tell today is centipede yay so i'm just gonna move it over to here not even gonna unzip it or anything it's totally cool um once it's in there we'll go ahead and uh oops i know what i did wrong here we go i went too quickly there go back in roms and i wanted to make a new folder so that way it exists in the folder that we want to so Atari 7800, and then I want to put my centipede game in there. So now that should match. So we have emulation ROMs, Atari 7800, emulation ROMs, Atari 7800. Boom. And that's pretty much it. That's all we really need to do. Um, it's This is real quick, real simple. So to test it out, um, I have my controller on already. But if you don't, turn your controller on because we know we have to. Uh, ahead of time before booting up emulation station otherwise it's going to bark at us so i apologize once again for the screen it's going to flip out a little bit and everything um run on my monitor here i'm going to start up emulation station
and takes a little bit. Yeah, it's in the corner on the screen, but it's running the way it's supposed to on mine. I'm going to hit the button. There's our centipede game. Going to hit the button again. And there it is running. You can see it's up here in the corner. It's real tiny. Uh, all you have to do is uh, set this to display at full screen. And that way I'll stre stretch across. It looks pretty funky because it was never uh, originally supposed to <laughs> really display in that wide of a screen. But um, looks pretty cool. You can use the keyboard and mouse if you want to to do the controls and set all that up. So I'll quit this out. F4. That's it. That's all we have to do. That's all setting up the Atari is. And so you could probably download every single game that was ever made for the 7800. It's probably like <laughs> 100 megabytes or whatever. Um, you know, so yeah. Hey, guys, thanks a lot for all your comments and questions in the past so far. They've been really helpful. And uh, still, uh, I see some people struggling and everything with their setup. But progress has been made. Uh, grats to some of you guys that you know, kind of stuck it out and got things working. So um, Atari is going to be another one that uh, is going to give your library a big boost. Um, throw in a couple more here pretty soon. I'll try to get some more videos out there. I know we're kind of just doing them one at a time, but uh, the idea of this is here is just to kind of try to find the emulators that are standalone emulators that work well with Emulation Station. There are other ones out there, but I've downloaded a bunch before and only two worked out of like the seven that I found you know or something so hopefully these videos will kind of help you cut a couple of corners here and finding the emulators that work for you um, that work for emulation stations so you can kind of compose a really cool good library of all this stuff um, up next I'm not sure what I'm gonna do but probably uh, do something pretty simple again. Uh, things are hectic, but I want to get into MAME, which is going to really make the library awesome. And then even um, do a quick uh, tutorial on how to add Cody into Emulation Station. I think that would be really cool for those that want to have more of the overall system uh, working and um, be able to like sit back on your couch and not only play you know old school games and stuff like that, but also play uh, your movies like Startup Cody and start watching movies from there and quit out it could be just like a hub for all of that um all right guys happy emulating